Hi guys, we've been asked to do a review on a Popo Soap solar fountain pump with a 3000 mAh battery backup, 8W solar powered bird bath fountain with dry run protection, double layer nozzles, 5 foot of tubing for the pond, bird bath backyard for feature, any water feature. So what we did is we had some, what are those? Pickle they, barrels. Pickle barrels that we were going to use for rain catchment and well it doesn't work that way so we actually cut off about a quarter of it a third of it and we're going to make it into a little pond to go into our garden so over here you'll see there is a solar panel that's what powers the water pump so we'll have him show you exactly how to put that together all right so you're going to show us how we put the fountain together And if you can show them the little filter that's in there, yeah. there's a little filter right there that you can pull in and out so that if it gets clogged with anything, you can pull it out, spray it off, and put it right back yeah, in. It preserve the um, So pump. Yes, so it helps preserve the pump if you keep it nice and clean. First, then this one, and then this one. He's going to make ours so that it does double. So now there's a cord that will attach right to the solar panel. So no electricity is involved no electricity whatsoever the max lift height is 65 inches max spray height is 24 inches and the cord link is 10 foot it's easy to install which you have seen I mean he's doing it pretty quick there um, all of the so the solar bird bath fountains provide a 60-day money-back guarantee and a one-year replacement you're always welcome to you know contact them if you have any problems whatsoever and there's someone that will help you within 24 hours. So now it floats right around inside that water. The only way you'd be able to keep that to stay in one spot is probably put like an anchor on the bottom. Of the well, I think that it'll, it's meant to just float around too. And, you know, once the water's coming out of it, I think it'll stay more stable. That could be. So he's going to plug it into the solar. Alrighty, so it took just a couple minutes for it to generate that power to it, and so he got nice and wet. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Because it actually. goes to the hill. Yes. And actually, can you show them the other heads that go to it? Yeah. And by the way, this does not work at night. So if you want that to keep, you know, being beautiful at night, it does not work at night. And you can change it to do different things so it sprouts out. Got these kind of nozzles. They're different kind of nozzles so that you can make the water do different, different things. Different patterns. Different patterns. I chose this one because it had the most holes. Yeah, he chose that one because it has the most holes. So. And they got one here that's just a single. Yep, it's got just a single. Then you got one here that's... Like an aerator, basically. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Goes on top. So, there it is. I will put the got, link below. You got this one. You see those little saucer type circle ones? Yeah. That's what that one is. That might be actually pretty cool. And this is the same thing, only it's adjustable so you can go higher or lower with it. That's awesome. So make sure you save your box so that you can keep all your extra parts in there. Um, so that if you want to change what your water is doing, that you can. I think it's pretty cool. They do have several other ones. Um, this is the one that we picked. And um, I think it's pretty cool. 
<laughs> so check the link below and like I say they have many different styles and what they do and all that just from that little tiny solar panel so give it a look I'll put the link below